All right, by now you should have received an email back from Freehostia getting your username and your password. Um, if you can't find it, you might want to look in the junk or spam folders within your email because sometimes, because it's coming from Freehostia, your, um, your email system might put it in one of those folders. But once you have it, you'll see if you have a username, which is text, and then you have a password. Usually that's numbers or text and numbers. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and log in. And then you want to go ahead and type in the, the uh, password that they provided you. And it should log you then into your site. Uh, once you get into your site, there are uh, we want to go ahead and change two passwords because the numbers are, are tricky to have to type in. Uh, but if you want to keep them, that's fine. But most people want to go ahead and change it, and this is how I recommend you do do so. First thing you want to do is go into My Accounts, and then you want to click on Change Password. And then once there, it's going to ask you what your current password is, which is all the numbers. Your new password should be computer, all lowercase, C-U-M-P-U-T-E-R, computer. And the reason for that is so you won't forget your password. But if you want to go your own way and do something trickier, fine. Uh, no one's going to hack into your stuff. There's nothing here to hack into. So I recommend using all lowercase computer. Once you have uh, put your, your current one and then computer twice, hit change. and It'll go ahead and change your password. And then from now on, when you log up, log into uh, Freehostia, you'll use that new password computer rather than using those numbers. The next thing we want to do is change something called FTP. So if you go up to here to files and then FTP uh, accounts, uh, that stands for file transfer protocol and that's how we're going to transfer our files. Uh, the By default, your ugly password with all the numbers and everything else is the password. And we want to change that to computer also. So click on the uh, gear. This one you only have to type in the word computer uh, once and then modify FTP account. Um, you don't have to do all the gyrations. The other one, you figures if you got this far, then you are who you are. Just be careful uh, because you want to um, uh, not lock yourself out of that. And you can always rechange it as long as you can get into your free hosty account. Uh, next thing we want to do is open up Notepad because we want to go ahead and create a small page and upload it to Freehosty to see if your account is working. Um, if I go back to My Domains and then Hosted Domains, you can see, you'll be, should be able to see the uh, domain name that you registered with Freehostia. And here's the one I registered. And notice that there's a red X here, red line here, meaning that it's not working. But if I hit that nub, it should turn into a check mark showing that it's correct. Even if it stays red, that doesn't mean that you've done something wrong. Sometimes Freehostia uh, has a hard time updating that to a green check mark until you've logged out, logged back in again. That's not important though, because we're going to test it using a file. So right now, if I copy this by selecting it and then doing Control C and then moving up to a uh, fresh um, browser, and paste that in and press enter it shows me what I have right now which is absolutely nothing there's nothing in your account so this is what people are going to see when they type in your domain name well we don't want to have that so what we're going to do is we're going to use notepad because I don't want to spend too much time on this and we're going to say okay well we're going to use HTML and we're never going to do a title we're just going to do a body and then we're going to put in an H1 tag. And I'm going to say, hello world. And then I'm going to close my H1 tag. And then I'm going to close my body. And I'm going to go ahead and close HTML. Actually, did, we didn't need any of that. All we had to do is put hello world up there when it came, but at least we, we have some structure here. Now, the, the file we want to save it as is index.htm. And the reason for that is that is what Freehost is going to use if someone doesn't type in a specific file name. So I'm going to do file, 
save as what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stick it on my desktop but I have to change from text file to all files and then I'm going to call this all lowercase index dot htm and then I'm going to go ahead and save that file all right, so we have now this index page with some HTML on it now we're going to upload it to Freehostia so let's go back to Freehostia and we're going to go back to files and this time we're going to go into the file manager that's another way we can get our files up uh, to Freehostia okay and then I'm going to wait for it to come up and hopefully ah, okay lost the internet there for a second so we're going to click on files file manager and then it'll take us into a file manager section and we want to click on our root directory which is the Tom this one right here whatever your name is and then we want to go ahead and upload a file is not okay and then we want to upload a file Alright, so once I've double clicked on it, now we're inside that folder. Now I'm just going to come up here and click the upload new file. And then I'm going to go to my desktop. And then I'm going to go. And I'm going to find my index file, which is right here. And then I'm going to tell them to go ahead and upload it. All right, now that I have that there, I'm going to go back to our page and I'm going to hit the refresh button. And there's my hello world. So now we know it's working, although it was difficult getting there. <laughs> All right, so that's it. We changed our password, we created an index page, we went to their files section, the file manager. We went into the um, web page we have, which is our, our site here. And then we went ahead and we hit the upload button, uploaded our index to the HTM file, and then we went and checked it out by going to uh, the internet and then typing in our website address, and hello world comes up. It, that's just a test file. That's not what we're going to be using. Next, we're going to go ahead and upload our files and see how everything works.